Go into your room. That's right. Sit on that fat of yours and do nothing but listen to records. started by going indoors on this beautiful day in Munich. <laughs> this is press day. This is not consumer day, just press. And uh, it's packed already. Packed. Take pictures of themselves. <laughs> What's new? The Invictus Junior is new. The Invictus Junior. Oh, so you, you, you've taken that down as you know, yes. you? so it fits into the person's house. Yeah, into a person's existing rack. And is this this platter is the same yeah. as the yeah. Ascona yeah. platter? Yeah, it's the sandwich platter that is on the Invictus side of the Ascona. And in, in making it smaller, what, what else have you done to, to We increase the CLD technology, so there are different layers with different cutouts so that we get more internal damping. We have magnet suspension like we put in on the Ascona. Uh, it's in here and uh, it's a four motor drive system so that we have uh, no tension to the bearing by placing four motors below the platter on a sub platter. It comes with an external upgraded power supply. And it's 69,500 euros. Yeah. So yeah. Walter's going to sell it for about $90,000? 85,900. 84, 84, 90, 84, 99. 84, 9999. Yeah. Uh, we also have a new, the new load that's a, a platter with the silent with, with the silencer technology uh, in, with the dampings. And you can get the same as as a clamp, also with the silencer technologies ah. in. So either or. So that's a weight. just a weight. That's, that's a weight, the weight and that's the clamp. Right. Yeah, you get it in, in black and silver, with chrome and gold, whatever. Whatever color you want. Yeah, whatever color. Is that, that's it? That's all that's new? Then oh, there more. is more. There is the, the double X is new. This guy's been busy over the last Challenger year. and Thunder is, uh, and Storm received an upgrade with the power supply and a new touch control for the motor electronic. And then we have the double X, which is a sandwich construction of steel, wood and uh, aluminium inside. So. It's a 10 layer piano finish. So way what is this model called? This is the double X. The double X. Oh, the X is what I saw for the first time in uh, the recent, at, at Expona, I think. Was the yeah, there we introduced it first, and here it's first time. It's available in Makassa or, or, or uh, Palisander. It also comes with the silence technology in the platter as a standard. Very beautiful. And what is, uh, what is Walter selling it for in America? Uh, I think four and a half or so. Yeah. Oh, that's good. We have a few tone arms. A few tone arms. 
So we are we added gold and black as a color to the versions. We have now the cut model so that people can really see how the just the to see what goes on inside. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that's 3D printed. Is that how it's Yeah, it's a, but it's a 3D printed. Normally, is mainly done with plastics, but this is made out of aluminium. And uh, that's uh, most of the, the news. What well, is your phono? That's a phono. That's the housing of the phono. So it's made out of a solid block of aluminium. Wow. With the power supply in here and the phono electronic in single-ended class A put in here. And that's the power supply. That's uh, the power supply, and that's that's the regular power supply. And there, you can get a an upgraded power supply that's in a similar housing, which is only a power supply, and you can plug it in here to have the upgrade for a later thing. And you can you can select mm, mc, different uh, gains for mc, and down there are dip switches, so you can adjust it to the normal. Uh, needed values for input impedance. Gain adjustable too? Yeah, but it's uh, only MC low, MC high. Oh, so, so it's. You can't, it's what, so what's the gain in high? It's 64, 64. and uh, 52 for MC low and uh, 42 for MM. Okay. Thank you. Good, good way to start the show. Yeah. Thank you. Have fun. Thanks for coming. You bye bye. box and old bishop said to me there's never a shortage of new manufacturers in this business despite what everybody thinks This year we're going to hear this turntable. The last two years we just saw it, now we're going to hear it. It's a new product. Okay, this is a new Kuzma turntable. Okay, so Mr. Kuzma, tell me what is new. Uh, this year we are presenting a new turntable called Stabi R. Stabi R? Yes. It's a bit difficult to say, but... R. Okay. R. Uh, it's uh, made from solid block of aluminium with built-in power supply, and we're using the drive from our top turntables, which is a DC motor with a plastic belt. And so, uh, say that again, I'm gonna make sure it's, it's a what motor with a what? DC motor. It's a DC motor with a plastic belt. This is the drive which we're using in our top turntables. Okay. So we managed to bring this down to this price range of 7,100 euros. 7,000 euros. 7, so in America, it's gonna be 9,000, 8,000? 8,000 dollars. Depending upon what happens to our dollar, depending on what the Europeans want to do to us for, exactly. what, for well, what we're busy with right now. Let's let's look at what you are doing to us. Yes. <laughs> anyway, there are the options there. So, so, oh, you can have it in wood. Yes. This is the basic option. Is here. This is stripped away from the from the the, the on the right this, this wing, but you can add holders, little balconies, four tone arms. Oh. You can add them and what you play around. To, to your heart's desire. Or you use the basic part and build it in your own plinth. Oh, you can just buy, you can just buy this. Just buy this. And this looks very familiar. From this is the drive from our top turn tables. From yeah. The, from the M&M from Stabia XL. Right. And it's neatly built in power supply. The remote is here. I mean, sorry, the remote, the control. Right. 
can see here the option like this. Very handsome. And you can choose this as you want. And this this plate can come out and you can put a different arm? Yes, this block yeah. goes out here. Oh. And then is the option with the two wings. And we're offering black and silver finish. Or round if it's required. So, so you can start with something with this and then add that. Yes. And then add that. And then if you don't like that, you can get rid of those and go to that. You exactly. Can do whatever you want with exactly. this modular. Exactly. Oh. You can you could you could make a big block of wood and build it in and be it as a stand. Right. Everything's possible. Here's something new. Yeah, we have the opportunity to uh, clean singles, single format also. This is this is an adapter kit. So you can clean oh. the 12-inch record as usual and this is the kit. Just a moment. So that's what the, is that? This, uh, these are the driving wheels to transport the singles. Oh, I see. You, yeah. have, to, you have to go ra raise it. Yes. You got to get up higher. The magnet inside. You only have to fix it like this. Fresh. Of course, Some it's going to fall when you do it in the camera. This is inevitable. What's going to happen? Yeah. At least it's not a high wire rack, and you didn't fall off and kill yourself. Okay, I see that. Mm -hmm. And then you put those. These are the rollers. So. So it'll do seven inch records, uh, yes. but not 10 inch records? No. No 10 inch, you had to make a choice. Uh, the, the tolerances regarding 10 inches are too, too big, then I have uh, problems with the diameter. Right. Yeah, sometimes. So, but this is not upgradable, you have to buy a new unit to, to do this. Yeah, since the beginning of that year we offer it, uh, this unit with uh, these holes, and then the customers can decide if they want the, the the extra kit right. or not. Good, good idea. Good. Yeah, simple. And what does the kit cost? The kit cost uh, uh, in, in Euro 199. It exists of uh, two rollers and uh, the two driving, no right. driving wheels. Right. Is there anything else new in this in this machine? Um, yeah, some details. We have a, a, a different swimmer. It's uh, So this is the man who started the whole business of cavitation-based record. Let, let's get that straight. You're the guy that did this first. Yes. You're the first guy that said, let's do cavitation with records. Yes. Everybody yes, else yes, copied you. Yes. In the meantime, right. yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so let, let's get that straight. He's the guy. I, I register it, uh, that uh, some competitive companies are coming, but some, uh, some uh, companies are coming and, and then they are going again. Right. Uh, it's, uh, they don't have to forget uh, to uh, to go in market. It's not not uh, so easy. No. It's, it's yeah. And you're the only one that uh, that use. Oh, that look, look at the, Let's see what that kit looks this, like. This this is the the uh, single the, the kit. Yeah. Uh, for the single. Haben wir schon Kit mal da zum zeigen und verpacken? This like. is the completely single kit. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, you, and you can't you can't send your old unit back and have you drill the holes and put. I know we ca cannot uh, make an update. Yeah. Here, so the, the original driving suite have a different. Uh, a, um, uh, I got me it. Me measurements. Yeah, I see. Yeah. That. Okay. Yeah. Well, everything has to improve over time. So that's yeah. One yeah. Okay. Are you licensed to carry that? Yes, I am. Yes, I am licensed to carry Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know there are some people saying, why would you bother cleaning seven inch singles? There are seven inch singles going for thousands and thousands of dollars. There are some extremely collectible seven inch singles. And there you have it. As much as I'd like to start looking through records now, I can't do it. Yeah, I need to get one of these. Is this a new model? Yes. Can you tell me about it and tell everybody about it? 
well. I, it's uh, it's it's got uh, it's possible isolation in the, in between the layers, right. so that the, the, the two layers are completely isolated. We use squash balls quite a lot, right. and uh, it's got the same arm as we normally use. I've yeah. not seen that arm. That's the LTD arm. I've only seen the one with the golf ball. Oh, that's around the corner. Yeah. 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 This still has the golf ball, but the golf ball the golf ball's cut in half, and it's got the aluminium cup on it. So the golf ball's still in there. Ah. Still using it, and we're using honey instead of silicon because it's easy to clean when we finish. So what is in there? Honey. Honey? You're kidding. I'm not kidding. And do the ants just we, we don't normally use honey, but we use silicon. Right. But for the show, oh, okay. it's easy to clean at the end. Silicon's terrible to uh, try yeah, and clean I know. up. I know. So this, and this is brand new here? This, this is the first release of this. Wow. You've, and you have a balanced and unbalanced... We've done everything that's on the Royale, and we put it on here, and we do two versions. So one version will have the oh. aluminium where the, uh, where the bamboo is. Oh, wow. So you'll be able to buy it. Beautiful. And what is this going to sell for in America? Uh, well, there's the Euro. So it's a probably similar. Oh, nice. Very similar. Yeah. Right, it is. Okay, that's the Amadeus 254. Yeah, the 254 and the, and the GT is when we put the aluminium right. on it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. No problem. Hey, this, Hello. Is, this is your brand new turntable. Uh, yes, the it is. Yes, we... And we upgraded uh, our already existing uh, Forte timetable. Um, we decided, uh, we found a very nice cooperation in uh, Slovakia uh, with a small company who is uh, specialized in leather production. Let oh, oh, I didn't even know. Yes, it's leather. Yes. Warm, warm very, leatherette. Very, very, very fine, yes. Warm leatherette. Yes. And what is this material? Uh, it's the same um, material. I uh, I think MDF, yeah. Okay. MDF. So it's a sandwich of MDF and... Yes. Okay. Um, so it's a double motor, two motors. Yes, uh, two, two motor design. Uh, it's the same design as uh, on the pre previous timetable. Um, regarding the colors, uh, we can produce uh, anything what customer is uh, wishing, any any combination. Yeah. You will see on the other side we have also a very classy one uh, with a black and brown. So this is not classy? This is classy in, um, my, in my book, I, it's classy. In, in my, in my eyes, this one, this one is also classy. Right? Yeah, I would think but so. But like uh, for uh, really hardcore classy, we have. Uh, I think it's a brown and uh, black. Yeah. Then we have uh, this is brand new. This you have never seen. No. Just we just uh, got it yesterday from the production. Um, it's a brand new tone arm. We we'll retail at uh, three thousand five hundred uh, euro. In Europe. That's not a lot of money for a typical um, for an Yes. Owner. If you press here, it opens your garage door. Uh, you can uh, yes, you can light into the garage door. Yes, or or you can also uh, set up PTA. Oh. You, you you see the li the light. Right. And uh, here you must uh, you must see the point where uh, there see, is a point that's somewhere. Sort of sort. Yeah, I see. Ah, uh, here and oh, it you must. Like it? There is a small, uh, there is small, small lead, and you and you check uh, and you set, uh, set up if the uh, oh, okay. you check if, if the setup is uh, correct. That just gets yeah. it so it's parallel to the record, yes. which doesn't mean anything, but it gets a start. It's a starting point. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> In my world, it's a starting point. Okay. Yeah. And this, this, what, this is a high mass arm, and does this come off or is it one piece? Uh, this is on this one, it's one, one piece. One piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like, I like that. One piece, yeah. mm -hmm. And so what does this turntable cost? Um, so it will be 25% uh, uh, more uh, than uh, standard port. I don't know how much that costs, so that's, that's what So it, it will be like uh, 9,000, uh, 9,000. Oh. That's, this is all solid aluminum, this, this is very this heavy. Is, this one is solid, uh, solid aluminum. It better run at the right speed. 90, yeah, I don't know. 19.9 kilogram here, oh. just the plate. Just the plate, mm -hmm. yeah. All turntable is uh, together 65 kilograms. Wow. On the other side, we have the other version. This is the standard, this is the same. Yeah, but also, uh, this is. Uh, it's a different with a with a thin alternate yeah. right. and uh, with a brown uh, right. very handsome. Uh, <laughs>
anything else new at this price that yes, we have um, we have Iglo, Iglo Petit. So this is uh, now we have already three uh, three photo stages. Iglo Petit. Iglo Petit, yes. This is our third photo stage. Um, it's the smallest one. Uh, this one will retail at uh, 1,299 euros. It's very, again, it's very stylish. Yes. And so this is two it's, of them. This is, yeah, this no, is this is just to show uh, the color uh, color options. Oh. This is a Makassar, This right. is a black one. But it, uh, you need just one. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's exactly the half size of uh, C uh, of Iglo and Iglo S. Yes. Okay. okay. And that okay. And you gave me the price. Okay. Well, I can send you also. Ever done. So it's my pleasure to introduce the man who's behind it all, Dan D'Agostino. If you pardon me for a minute, I'm going to read off my iPhone the English definition of relentless. Persistent, constant, continual, continuous, nonstop, never ending, unabating, interminable, incessant, unceasing. Endless, unending, un unrelenting. Yes, I'm all those things when I designed this amplifier. <laughs> you know, the concept of this was in my head for a while, but I've never had the opportunity to completely finish it. And uh, about two years ago, I started on that quest, and uh, I brought in uh, uh, all of my skills at building and designing a circuit, which I did. And then I brought in my engineering team, uh, uh, Director of Engineering Mike Koza, and a 50-year veteran that works for me, Bill Hughes, and Jack Krebs, who's one of our digital designers, and all of us put our heads together to make this thing work. So let me tell you a little bit about it. You know, there's other balanced amplifiers on the marketplace, and um, they all achieve sound. They all achieve great power because with balance you can get four times the voltage you get on single ended. Well, here's, here's the dichotomy. There was a paper written a while ago on balance and nobody's really made until now a truly balanced amplifier. And the reason why I say this, in order for it to be really truly balanced, each half of the amplifier, the positive and negative side, have to be exactly and I mean exactly opposites of each other. So how do you do that? This is, this is the question. This is a big question. How do you do that? And this is what we accomplished. And that's why it took two years to get it to work correctly. So now we have an amplifier that has very low distortion without global feedback because all of the distortion products are mixed together with the negative and the positive, which are exact, exact reciprocals of each other and they null out all the distortion products. So this at full power is 0.006. You know, a momentum's 0.1, which is marvelous. And this amplifier would be 0.12 if it wasn't a perfect balanced amplifier. We do not have global feedback, so there's no way to change that. So that's what we get just by adding the two sections together. We also get incredible signal noise ratio. We get incredible dynamic range. We, we incorporate the super rails that we incorporated in the, in the momentum and in the progression amplifiers. But we incorporated another step where we actually have a step inside the super rail to work this amazing front end. The front end operates independently of any other part of the amplifier. In fact, it doesn't even know that it's an amplifier. It works in its own little space. It's an enigma. It just sits there. And it, no matter what the output stage does, no matter what demanding program material you put on this amplifier, the front end and that perfect mirror never changes. And that's the magic of this amplifier. Along with an extraordinary quiet power supply, we have a multiple domain power transformer that's, that's laminated in a certain way to make it have no noise. And then it's surrounded by wraps of silicon steel and that it potted into a steel can so that it's totally quiet electrically and mechanically. It's got 600,000 microfarads of capacitance 
in the old way where the big, big hand capacitors, if you don't see so much anymore, because they're so expensive, but they have their own problems. They resonate, they're big hollow cavities. So we have an um, uh, acoustic damper built in that clamps them in and grounds them to the chassis so they're dead quiet. And that's coupled with big copper bus bars. And I, I tell you, because I, I come from an era when, when, when we built big amplifiers, we used big copper bars, and that's what this amplifier has in it. It's got 100 output devices. It's got 32 drivers. It's got 60 pre-drivers. It's, it's a very complicated amplifier in many ways. But what it does is it makes for an output stage that delivers more current than anything we've ever designed, and I've ever designed in history, in my history. And I've never seen anything that can do what this does. If you put it at full power at 8 ohms and you run it into 2 ohms, the voltage on the output stage doesn't change, which is really significant. So this, this has a tremendous power capability. It's got a, an amazing lightness and musical quality that's never ending. It has over 100 watts of Class A at I.O. So all the low level signals and all of that are, are never lost. So it's also something that could be ran on almost any kind of household current. I'm telling you, you're not gonna put 6,000 watts into, into two ohms with 110 volts. But it will turn on and it will play perfectly fine. It won't dim your lights. It's got a very special soft start circuit. In it. So going to the mechanical design, you know we use copper in the momentum. I wanted to make a, a statement with that because copper is a very important part of the momentum. So in the, in the Relentless, I use copper differently. I turned it into a heat engine. So it's, a, it's, a, it's really a, 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 the copper gets warm, the heat sink on the outside gets rid of the heat. We took the Venturi effect that we have in the momentum heat sink and we made it into a more complicated Venturi for the outsides of these, this uh, mechanical heat sink. So this thermal engine, as I like to call it, is constant. It gets to one temperature and it almost will never change. And I've had them in my house on for two weeks and I've played them at crazy levels and low levels and they're always the same temperature. I mean, they rarely rise in temperature. That's a very important thing. The, uh, uh, it's got fully protected, so if you short it out or any, any mishap, it won't damage your speakers. It backs out very fast. It's got a, uh, uh, the meter. Now the meter is a whole nother thing. As you can see, it's got 260 degrees of sway. So how do we move a meter like that? But we have a meter with a multiplier in it, so that at low levels you see it moving. But as you play it higher, it starts to swing, and it's got acoustic dampening in it. So it's got sustain, so it comes up and it rests, and it goes back and forth, and you'll see it at big crescendos. I haven't gotten it to go all the way up to 1.6 yet, because I only have Wilson elect uh, Alex's, and I don't want to break them. But uh, I had them at Dave Wilson's house about two weeks ago, and. I wasn't in the room when Daryl did it, but apparently he had it way up there in the 1.2, 1.3 area. I think Bill McKeegan's a witness. Um, but I, I was outside talking to one of Dave's friends. But uh, it's fully capable of doing anything you like, and it is a, an acoustic marvel. So uh, with that, I'd like to open the floor for any questions. Do you have a projected retail price? Yes, the retail price is $250,000 a pair. And we'll be delivering in July. I did talk about the heat sink, but the binding post, I didn't say. We have a special binding post made in the back. You know, I get really tired of binding posts because you get a spade lug, you put it on, you twist it, and it spins around. It never tightens right. The tines bend. So I made a binding post that, that, that really isn't possible. If you walk around the back and take a look, you can see you can see that it's got a washer and a spacer and it's got cuts on the side of it. So when you put a spade lug on it and you tighten it, it won't spin. And then you can tighten it as tight as you want. It comes with a carbon fiber socket and a hand ratchet. So you can tighten it nicely and it basically won't bend your tines and it, you know, I, I'm not a big Binding Coast fan, that's why I spent a lot of time designing this and making sure that when you tighten something on it, it stays tight 
and it doesn't move around, it doesn't ruin the binding, the, the speaker lock when you tighten it. On the, on the finishing, this is all diamond cut, uh, uh, copper's cut, and then coated in a synthetic enamel. And the heat sink itself, as I said, is actually an extrapolation of a Venturi. So if you look at it, you can see how it works. And it spins the air around the, the fin and then out the top. So it's a, it's a very intricate design. You'll notice the faceted part of the amplifiers are all matched up in the machining. So this, this was done to be a piece of jewelry, but a big piece of jewelry. So, any other questions? What is the weight it's about around 500 pounds, give or take 100, no, give or take about 500. And how do you package this? How this is packaged in a great big wooden crate. We wanted to put it in a Pelican case. Uh, they don't make a case this big, but then uh, Patriot's son Alex pointed out to me that you can't take it out of the Pelican case because it weighs 500 pounds. Yeah. So we had to have a case that came in two parts. So you basically get it on a plinth. You take the cover off, there's lift holes in it, you can pick it up. Four guys can pick it up and set it down, either on a dolly or whatever you want, and wheel it to where it's got to go. It's got 307 hardened stainless steel feet on it that are rounded instead of pointed. Because I figure no matter what kind of floor you put it on, it's going to break it if you have a point on it. So I made a rounded foot that it sits on. So that's uh, yes. It's bias class A. Uh, it is not class A. It's class A B, but about a little over a hundred watts is class A. It just at out here. Are we looking at just uh, one channel? This or is one channel. Two, two, two boxes per channel. You get two boxes for two fifty. That's right. You throw one in. You buy one for two fifty. The other one. That that this is for abuse. Speaker, what is uh, the target you mentioned? You know, we, we think that any speaker will work great with it. I've had it on a pair of speakers that were are like $20,000, and I've had them on my Alex's at home, and I've had them on Dave Wilson's Whams. Right. Clearly, if you have a pair of Whams, this is, this is the ultimate amplifier for it. But any speaker, a, 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 a Magic OM6, would be an awesome match for it. Any of the big speakers out there, this would be great. But if you just like the big amplifier and smaller speakers, this is 100 watts of Class A. The small speaker, you're never getting out of Class A. What's the power in Class AB? Uh, it, it clips at about 1,640 watts. We rate it at 1,500. It, it'll put out a good solid 6,002, and we don't have enough power in our factory to measure it anymore. Yes, this is our new collection. No, I'm so shy. <laughs> okay, well then you will not be, you will only, you're only your voice. So this is a new lo speaker line. Yeah, new lo speaker line, position uh, rightly below the Olympica collection from a price range standpoint. Okay. And it's a eight models uh, collection, in three finishes, and it's totally made in Italy and features uh, all the Sonos Faber core technologies and also design details. For example, the dome, yeah, the dome Twitter with the DAT, paper cone drivers, the particles topology, crossovers, so has a really deep soul of Sonos Faber. And design-wise, we put the leather top inherited from the Olympica one. And so many different what is the price point of the topmost model? Uh, the top one in Euro is 6000 Oh, it's moderately priced. Yeah, it's moderately priced. And, made in, and made in Italy, too. And made in Italy, too, as wow. well. Yes, it's been a huge challenge for us. Oh, yeah, sure. And so now we are really, really preparing physically our headquarters in Vicenza for welcoming this huge collection. I, I got invited to come to the factory again. But I, I, I had to say no. No, why? I had, because I've been there three times. Okay. <laughs> Not only very expensive, oh, very, very interesting, and very much variable. So this is the first time in the hi-fi market that somebody produced this uh, beautiful cartridge cover out of the gold, oh, and uh, six carat, uh, six carat diamonds in the best quality. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you carry that around, and then so, you and your, yeah, your uh, your husband is buying uh, something nice uh, like a cartridge, 
And then? I don't have a husband, okay? Uh, well, that's, that's, that's spreading rumors. I, do, I have um, a wife, okay? Well, well uh, in, your, okay. in your, in your case, I'm sorry, in your case it's a wife. So, um, husband is buying uh, something pretty for him, for his hi-fi system. And this one is staying for a woman. Oh, I see. He takes oh, the cartridge yeah. and gives her that. Yeah. Yes, and this one is staying forever. Same as a cartridge. Ah, <laughs> Until okay. you break it. Ah, I see. <laughs> yeah, if it was a key mount, I could see that you would take it So this is, this is basically uh, how you bring more uh, life into the hi-fi and especially more women. <laughs> All right. Okay. You're, not, you're, gonna, you're gonna make these things? Now? Yes, a limited edition of uh, 50 pieces and it will be like um, uh, everybody can uh, uh, have a little bit slightly uh, own design, different gems. Customized. Ca it's customized, but uh, but it will look like this. Yeah. You can change the weight and compliance of the case. Yep. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. And the cartridge nestles in there and comes out. Just yes. Careful. Be careful. Yes. I'm sorry. It's still a prototype. Please. No, it's a prototype. <laughs> yes. No, it works. It, never it comes works. Out. <laughs> no, you have to buy two cartridges. Right. One for show, one huh? for go. Right. No, it comes. Look. The tip is still on. Oh, okay. There's still a cantilever thing, right? Yeah, just about. Yeah, that's cool. John number number five is uh, personalized with, with the numbers, serial numbers. Okay. Very nice. That's literally audio jewelry. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I've never seen this before. This is a smaller German company made in Austria. Seismograph. Yeah. Well, I'm not a fan of the name. <laughs> but anyway. It's earthquakeable. I believe we just broke the world record for phono stages noise. And uh, this is phono what stage we are noise. Yes. Yes. So this one you showed this one last year but not no, not with the UN. This one is a new version of of the BMC current amplification mode phono preamp that has much lower noise than much lower noise. Much lower noise. And the, the old version was already considered as a very, very low noise device. Right. The German stereo magazine considered it close to the lab record. And this one outperformed that not only by a bit, by a lot. So, aside, some idea. Aside from low noise, does it sound any good? No, it's it's, it's terrible. I tell but it's very low noise. <laughs> this is the phono as you know it. No? Right. And that's the new one. And if you wow. see the scale here, these are 17. 17. Wow. 17. So how did you this do that? Extreme. How did you do that? You talk well, about it. Oh yes, that's the worst kept secret. No. So it's very simple actually. This is a totally balanced device. Right. In balanced devices, everything that is differential is considered a signal. Everything which is common mode is gone. Right. It's, it's eliminated. And you don't only have signal paths. For example, in a phono stage, you also have some, you need some regulated reference voltages. All of those are having a part that are making some kind of random differential noise. And uh, they also have some common mode issues. No? So the, the random differential noise cannot be eliminated. It cannot be eliminated uh, normally, let's Nor say. Normally, right. And the, the regulated systems here for reference voltages are below audio band. So the idea was, all right, if we maybe can force those, uh, those kind of regulations to be common mode in audio band, but differential below audio band, which is an exotic idea, right. then we could make the spectrum on top in within the audio band disappear which is usually mixing up with the music signal. Right. And that's what we did. Wow. And it succeeded at the first. So sometimes it's just, a, it's just a nighttime idea. And once you know how to do, uh, you really can see that there was much more potential in this basic idea of the current amplifier. Most of my good nighttime ideas I forget to write down, and then in the morning I forget them. So you wrote this one down. Right? <laughs> I don't just write down, I just cannot sleep anymore and ah. continue, <laughs> continue bringing them to the end and solving the details. Great, well I can't wait to hear it then. So the first ready version was about 2 o'clock morning time. And uh, but sometimes you have this drive, and you say, "I must do this now before I forget." Yes, good. I didn't expect that big difference. Yeah, that, that's. I must say, I never TV. expected that. That's amazing. I was hoping for some three, four, five dBs, right. but not for wow. seventeen. <laughs> no, this is really awesome. no. So, and this is actually so we we made this 
Phono Signature, the signature version of the MCCI. And this was a tweaking of something we collected a lot of experiences while doing the MCCI for seven years unchanged. Right. Um, of course this was an improvement, a clear improvement. The sound actually didn't change, but suddenly you feel that the background wasn't black, it was dark gray. Right. And when it's suddenly black, you feel that the sound stage just feels different. You still can tell. No, no, it's still the MCCI signature. Well, your dynamics are greater because the noise flows. Exactly, and, yeah. and then the presentation just feels differently. Yep. Cool. And this is, a version, this is one of their seismograph turntables. That is, yes. That's the top model of the seismograph turntables. <laughs> it's a very, very heavy, very solid turntable yeah. with an extreme precision. They are actually precision fanatics. Unfortunately, you're the money and the owner. Yeah, you're the money I'm, and then he found the right guy. I, uh, it's a friend of me. He so is your name is Daniel, Daniel. Von Fowler? Yeah. Okay. And here this is the company. <laughs> so Real Audio. Yes. Is that a play on words like surreal or not? Yes. It is. It is. Okay. It's real. It's so real, but it's, it's also surreal. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and so you have a designer who designed this yeah, for you. We, he, he's a very experienced designer. He's uh, over 45 years. He's doing turntables oh. and also amplifiers. But now he, he stopped and uh, do only some little things for me. And we designed it together. And uh, we talk about design, okay, he brings the uh, technical details, how it has to, to be, and I can talk with him, what about this, what about that, can we do this? And together we have first this one, and now there's a smaller one here in the right. entrance. Yeah. And so, how much does this cost? This is uh, 22,900 euros. euros. Yeah. So if so it, about twenty six thousand dollars. Uh, yeah. Okay. Actual floors. No, we met first on a show in Leipzig. He got recommended by, to me by a magazine. We had a nice room. Yeah. We put all this together. He had an Etsudo Urushi cartridge, oh. with it's perfectly to the MCCI, yeah. and this was really a great teaming. It was just a, a, a nice show. Are you playing yeah. stuff here? Uh, I, I I will, but <laughs> Give it I had an hour some, some, some meeting. <laughs> right. okay, we're just walking around, showing you some stuff. I think the, uh, the vocal on his guitar. It's unbelievable. It really is amazing. is made uh, of the same uh, material like uh, all our decks you know with uh, with uh, known marriage of materials right it's quite effective and so that's a stand for turntables yeah that's that uh, that's really the wall bracket that's only how it's oh, a wall bracket here. okay yeah it's, it's a wall bracket okay and that's a rack made of the same material as well and what is that material again? What is that? Uh, that's uh, our uh, house uh, secret, really. It's a, it's a wood? Or what is it? It's, 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 a, it's a wood. It's a wood, yes. It's a wood we use most of the days. And uh, well, that's, that's what we are showing here as well as the soundboard. And then we are showing uh, a few 
various finishes which we can offer optionally with uh, the moon uh, that's for instance um, that's the new little John which is a further development for Robin Hood. That's a new table? That's a new table. Okay. That's a new table. If you go down, you will see there is a, there are new food and a few other bits and pieces. And what is that going to sell for in America? Sorry? What is that going to sell for in America? Uh, it will be just the same like the Robin Hood. Oh, I see. Okay. And of course, if it is wanted, um, and if it's um, yeah. Oh. I just had to stop in here. Just for the looks. Whoa. Okay, you don't see this every day. This every day. Hi. Can I help you? I'm beyond help. I cannot be helped. Looks like Jico is now making a cartridge, not just making style, stylus replacements for sure. It's a handcrafted moving coil cartridge with a ceramic body. Oh, let's go visit them. They're right, they're right over here. Oh.
Dr. Farker and I'm like, full right. Full right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and it plays all three speeds. And what is this going to sell for in, in America, you know? Uh, for the America, I'm sorry, I'm just doing it uh, for Dr. Farker here. And he will come back in a half hour. Right. Uh, for the German market, it's 2,500 or 2,700. Two okay, so like 3,500 bucks for Yeah, right, right. Without arm. Without an arm. Without arm. And you have two options the table like this. Same material, a little bit thinner, or the aluminum on this side. And this, this is like a palm. That's palm. A, that's a palm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're at the Soundsmith booth. Smith line. Nothing new for Music Hall, but we're going to show it anyway. Because that's what we do. Oh, this is new. They have a walnut finish. A 9.3. It's very nice. Okay, we'll be back here to. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> you. <laughs> it's Fonts 100th anniversary, and they've got some great new products, and I will get to that tomorrow. I have an appointment tomorrow. ATR. It's a company I never heard of. Have you ever heard of this company, ATR? I've never heard of it. This looks an awful lot like a Torrance. Awful lot. It's gotta be a Torrance. Okay, now we are at Project. Distributor tour now. We're getting the, we're getting the real poop from the distributor side of things here at the project. Okay. Okay. So everybody's with me. Project audio uh, tour for today. I will present the news uh, in a somehow short form. Um, uh, thank you first for everybody coming here yeah, and uh, having the attention. I hope. You like our new design? I think we're getting a next level, so we're getting a little bit more grown up with the professional logo and all the look around of the uh, beautiful products are even better presented than ever. So thank you also for our design team. Yeah, they did a really great job. Yeah, we have as every year we have uh, really many many new products uh, year round. Yeah, so I would like to start uh, first with uh, with our smallest product. Yeah. Uh, here we see uh, one new phono box. It's a limited edition uh, and it's uh, limited for 500 pieces and it should praise our 500,000 
phonobox. So we produced up to now 500,000 phonoboxes and now we have 500 limited edition. But we thought we're making a little bit more out of it, yeah? Uh, and um, everybody knows this is basically a phonobox S, but we thought we make it better. So that's the first phono stage I know under something like seven, eight hundred euros, which is fully discreet. So no ICs inside, yeah, which gives a fabulous, wonderful, smooth sound. Yeah, I don't know a phono stage, Michael. Maybe you know, but I don't know a phono stage which is at a price point of three hundred euros, fully discreet. I came here to listen to you, not, not ah, you don't, don't put me on the spot. Okay? <laughs> I thought you know more than me. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, you I should know. More. If you don't know, nobody knows. I know. <laughs> So that's the Phonobox um, um, Ultra, a Jubilee product, uh, and 500 pieces limit. So hurry on, we think we have sold it out very, very fast. Yeah? Uh, so uh, on that spot here, we have a spectacular new CD player. So Michael's planned it, it's not interesting for you. Yeah? Not uh, as you know, uh, we believe that the CD player, like the analog uh, turntable, is now more a niche product. So everybody going in streaming, yeah, uh, to the mass market definitely. But uh, many, many people uh, have still CDs at home, and as project tries always to find, to be on the. When there is a new technology which allows me to make something really very special, then I go on. And one thing is that uh, the, the CD industry was suffering. The high-end CD industry was suffering by uh, the stop of the CD9 Pro. CD9 Pro transport of Philips was the very best transport ever made, yeah? which was really able uh, to track 16-bit because most of the transport existing in the market did never have seen 16-bit, and so was the result of the CD, very limited the dynamic. Yeah? So uh, we convinced Stream Unlimited uh, with a huge investment uh, that they are making a new CD9 Pro an even better one. So that's the first uh, full uh, die-cast drive which uh, comes out of the CD9 Pro. A new level of CD drive and we are the first company in the world who presenting this. This is a new standard for the high-end industry and basically every company in the high-end industry will have this because it's top of the notch. The only problem is my cost price of this, yeah, only that you have an idea, is 300 euros. That's only the drive. So you can imagine yeah, that's huge, that, that, that this product is not a, a low cost product. Yeah? As we are project, we try to, uh, to get it in a product which is still affordable. Yeah? So this is our uh, CD box R RS2 Ultra, and it will come for around 2000 euros maybe two and a half, we don't know yet exactly, yeah? but that's that's the price and we have the first one on the market. Yeah? Okay, next product is our line where we give the customer the options that they can buy that features what they want. And if they don't need features, they just buy the essential three like it is, as a manual turntable with great sound. Yeah? So as you know, we have our digital product, we have our Bluetooth product, we have the product with 3345 and we have the record master if you want to record. The new edition of the Essential 3 line is the Essential Headphone. And this allows you to listen directly from the turntable uh, with your headphones. And that's perfect for a young customer because a lot of young customers they simply don't have speakers anymore. Yeah? And they don't want to spend a thousand uh, dollars for a turntable, so just that is perfect because that will sell for 400 euros um, with the headphone included. The Beatles will release the Yellow Submarine record in June 14th, again on the market, in a new edition. And to celebrate this, uh, Beatles gave us the possibility to create this wonderful product. No, it doesn't sound better. No, it's not what waterproof. Yeah? Uh, it's simple, a fantastic product, which the people will love. And that's all about our industry. Our industry is about what makes fun and what makes you happy and this product will make a lot of people happy. It's great sounding. We designed a special cartridge for it from Autophone and the cartridge will be called Sonar. Yeah. So we're very happy and we are shipping this in about three weeks. The retail is 450 uh, euros. Here 
is a, a new turntable which we will introduce by uh, this season, so by fall uh, 2018, and that's a new project too. Yeah. So we redesigned the project too, and uh, we found ways to make it even cheaper and better sounding and better looking. So that's the, the walnut version. There is a matte version on over the corner and also an eucalyptus version also over the corner. Yeah? It um, incorporates a new technology of a, a sandwich construction of platter, of uh, glass platter in combination with cork and our rubber technology. So it's very, very dead platter. We uh, can make very precise. The tone arm is from the classic and it's as the classic an aluminium carbon design. Why? Because the stiffness of carbon is very interesting, yeah, and the aluminium makes a natural damping, which uh, you would like to have on the carbon. Because when you measure the debut carbon, it has a lot of advantage in speed, but you have some resonances, yeah, which you don't have here. Okay, it's more expensive because to combine aluminium with carbon is another story, yeah. yeah? Uh, this turntable, in comparison to other turntables in this price range, has also our suspension system of the of the motor. Yeah? So the motor is suspended. Thank you. Motor is suspended. Because most of the, that turntable will retail for a thousand euro and every turntable on the market of a thousand euro has a fixed motor. Nobody is caring about isolation of the motor. Yeah? Because it's expensive. And for sure, as always, this turntable, like most of the project products, has haze adjustable fits, azimuth adjustment on the tone arm, and VTA adjustment on the tone arm. For us, these are standards. For the industry, unfortunately not. And you know very much how important this is yeah, when you want to have a proper alignment. Next product, I will play with this later. <laughs> Next product is uh, a celebration to our big, big partner Orthophone. Orthophone, we are very proud to work together uh, because they are the market leader in the cartridge design. And they have this year their 100 year anniversary. And for their anniversary, we designed the turntable uh, together, uh, which is very similar to the 175 year uh, anniversary turntable of the Vienna Philharmonic. Yeah? Uh, so same tone arm, same drive. Uh, for sure, not the violin uh, wood because that would drive the price crazy. So it's an MDF wood, yeah. But it has also an aluminium um, subchassis and it has a special cartridge which remembers on the Orthophone core cord. But it's not the cartridge for DJ. It's a cartridge designed special for audiophile uh, uh, listening playback. Yeah. As you know, also the the Concorde systems like to have a middle heavy toner. So it's a perfect match. So Sweep It is a very uh, cost effective uh, cleaning arm. There is existing a lot of rubbish in the market from China. Yeah? And this is a really nice working uni pivot arm, uh, which is a beautiful SSR which fits on all our turntables. So what is that What is that uh, anniversary turntable with the order fund cartridge cost? You didn't Two and a half about. Uh, here we have um, stereo box DS2. Maya DS2 is now already very famous, yeah. But Maya DS2 is overloaded with features like Bluetooth, like USB input, a lot of digital inputs. Uh, a lot of people don't want that. A lot of people want to stay pure analog. Uh, so this one is the Maya DS2 version uh, without any digital inputs. So only analog inputs, but with the Phono MC stage. Yeah? And for reasonable less costs. But still Bluetooth. Yeah? Because for the background music, the people want to listen to their Spotify. Yeah? So that's also coming in September. Hi, I'm Daryl Scheinman, uh, Gearbox Records. That's right, in London, Gearbox. With we our own some of their records. mastering studio, vinyl cutting, label, all sorts of things. And now turntable. 
This is the gearbox automatic. And we had written about this. Uh, I, when you announced this, I put up a news item about it. Oh yes, it, but, I remember, yeah. But yeah. now here it is. Here it is, it's in production. It's two electronic speeds, glass platter, all the, all the um, project uh, mechanicals. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, also got a tube uh, phono stage built in, which is unique. Yes. And it has line out on wired line out, but also Bluetooth. Oh. Um, and uh, it's also got a chip on board, which allows you to tag your vinyl. So when you play, I can't get the Wi-Fi on here, unfortunately, but when you play, um, it knows what you're playing. And, uh, and where does it uh, communicate that to your phone? Yeah, to your yeah. phone. So we have two apps. We have an app for the um, Android, which is here, and you go in there and so it's not detecting yeah, yeah. the, um, it should select the Wi-Fi and then you're on. And then it just pops up the track and allows you to add it to Spotify. And we've got the same for Apple, uh, an app. That's cool. A group by them. And that's... But it's not battery powered. No, it's not. You don't take it to the beach. Oh, I've just switched off. Is it, is it working? Yeah, it is. It's not bad sound, is it? <laughs> no, not at all. It's going to retail at 599 sterling, which is so that's about uh, 700 bucks. Is that right? Yeah. Something like that. Oh, that's that's kind of a cool thing. It's not bad. Um, yeah. I mean, we will get the price down when I give the Heinz a big enough order. Right. <laughs> at the moment we. And how do you plan on uh, selling this? Uh, to uh, dealer distributors. So. Oh, really? Distributors that have their own stores, so people like hopefully Hi-Fi Club, and there's some in Russia, there's some in the US. Right. So that's how we sell it, plus direct sale. We've sold about 100 so far. Oh, that's good. Just direct sale yeah. though. Just and uh, so when you proposed this to Heinz and you started you know, coming up with what's going to be, did, did he think this was a good idea? Because he, he comes up with all the good ideas, you know. So well, that's good. true. Well, interestingly, so I designed this thing, sort of mimicking the um, Dieter Rams. Um, a design for Braun from the 50s, right. which inspired Johnny Ive at Apple to make the first iPod. Right. So I thought that's a great design, small footprint. Um, you don't really lose any audiophile issues with the smaller platter. A little bit, maybe if it's a floppy disk, you might get a little bit more wham flutter on the edge. But it's, we've got a good enough tone arm so we don't get inside the track distortion. Right. But the guys at Riga and our own internal electronics and engineer, we built the electronics. But then Riga didn't have the capacity to build for us, so we then had to. Then we found the project. We then put their own mechanicals on, and they've got a, a board manufacturer too. Who, they, you know, they cover everything. They both, do. It's both amazing. Companies cover everything. The highest amazing. system have the manufacturing. Yeah. The roadies, and, yeah. And in Riga, it's amazing. I went there, and when they opened the first new factory, and yeah. I said, How are they going to make enough stuff to fill this factory? I know. This time I went back, and both factories, they built it's another factory. It's just phenomenal, factory, isn't it? And, it? and it's packed. Yeah. They're building stuff in the corridors. Right? It's, it's crazy. It is crazy. And they're, they're all that, I mean, that lovely headquarters as well with the yeah. swimming pool, uh, yeah. frozen swimming pool for its energy. And, I think he's doing some good stuff, actually. I and then, and then well. Heinz has the ability to make this screen. And he, yeah. And he, ma he ma manufactures these cases, too. Yes, right? so the whole thing's made by them. I mean, they um, worked very hard on this with us because yeah. there were a few tweaks we needed to do. Yeah. Um, he, I think, was slightly dubious at first because the thing about this is it's a bit more of a lifestyle sale rather exactly. than a, a hi-fi shop sale. That's right. I mean, at home I use a TW acoustic turntable and the audio note gear. I would have expected something like that. From you. I wouldn't expect, but this has got its own. But market. this has its market. Yeah. Well, my wife loves this because there's no fiddling around with cartridges, and she still gets a nice hi-fi sound. Yep. And my son, 21-year-old son, has got one. You have a 21-year-old son. I do. That's yeah. Frightening. <laughs> well, I'm 52, but you're very That's kind. Too. <laughs> but, I um, got 20. Then. Oh, you have you? Well, that is frightening equally. Yeah, that's you really look good. You look yeah, good. That's really frightening. Yeah, you. you look good. That's great. That's right. He looks good too. Yeah, he looks good. <laughs> that's yeah. cool. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with it. We just now got to try and sell some. Well, I'm glad I ran into you there. First yeah, no. you, it's yeah good exactly. You. At last. And then also to uh, to see this thing finally. Spin. Do you live in LA actually? Or I'm in New, New Jersey. York? You're in New Jersey. Oh, my stepbrother's New Jersey. Yeah. He's a. Uh, American, my stepmother's American. Oh. So we're over a lot in, yeah. on the East Coast. Um, if I'm over again, I'll, I'll look you up. Do Maybe that. we'll have okay. a beer in the right. States or something. Yeah. Everything is made in Italy, the motor too, and the power supply too. The tone arms are uh, uh, provided by Project, right. and we have uh, 
this line in two colors, black and white, and three models. Are completely different models, but using same same parts. One plint, motor bearing, and tone arms on the same plint. So this is a MDF. It's HDF, high density. I, right. Fiberboard. And you got a glass platter. No, it's metaclate, crystal oh. metaclate. Oh, okay. It moves, but it don't don't fall down <laughs> the belt. Right. This is silicon belt. Is an AC synchronous motor inside, and it is uh, supported by four springs. So, oh, so it's isolated. It's I mechanical isolated, and it probably gets rid of some of the cogging from Sorry. Motor, motor cogging. Probably yes. Reduce the vibration, tra uh, the transmission of the vibration to the plinth. And uh, so, what what are these selling for? Like, what are the costs? The retail price is three ninety nine for this one. Yes, uh, including everything, including cover, tone arms, cartridge already tuned, and power supply and cables too. Huh. This is the power supply, twenty four okay. volts. And so right now you're, you're looking for an American distributor? Or you have one? We are looking for. Right. But uh, America is very big. <laughs> very big. And, they, and not that much gets sold here. You know, people think, oh, it's America, there's a lot of people, and it's very big. Yeah. Hi-Fi is just not... It's happening but more now. It's getting This better. is not only Hi-Fi, because this is plug and play. Right. And uh, the, the, pr the price is very aggressive. Yes. And uh, you can have everything, including the plastic cover. Right. Okay. It's very simple, but it, uh, we have so you can polish without moving. <laughs> right. Okay. And it'll play with that on. But um, we don't suggest. <laughs> right. Oh, you don't. Okay. Well, it's better off. Well, sure. Yeah, I think it's better without. And that's your bearing. This is the bearing. Okay. Oh. Never stops. <laughs> It's an inverted bearing. Ceramic wall on top? Uh, actually, we are using steel chromed. Steel chromed, but you can have ceramic ball as an accessories. And you, it's you not put so a, You can put an M&M &M in there if you want. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, you can do <laughs> You can put the, the 12 platter on the GD1 right. as an accessories. You can have the, the double belt system. Right. And uh, you can improve many things. Okay, so that's fourteen. That's fourteen ninety nine plus plus eighty nine for what? Is for special double, bowl, oh, I see. ceramic bowl and double bed. Oh, I see. Okay, so you really can customize it. You can customize, and you can add external power supply. Right. It's not only the, the voltage regulator because you you have a DSP inside. Right. And DSP uh, makes a, a special ground, so isolating from. Uh, the, the main power and create the sinusoidal wave to to manage the speed. Right. So 33, 45 and 78. Right. Okay. And this one this this one is is the same 15, right, but standard. Right. So you can change the speed by moving right. the the bell. It's very heavy. It's the same same material. Same material, yes. But this is machine because the precision precision of right. the cutting is higher than laser cutting. Okay. Well, thank you so much for showing this. Good luck. I hope you get to America. And if you get to America, uh, I'll be happy to review it. Okay, here's something you've never seen before, at least I haven't seen it before. This is a turntable with no platter, no motor, no, oh, there's a motor, and there's an mm -hmm. arm. The motor is 
here and it's a bell drive which is um, and the controller is extern and it, this is looks like is this aluminium it's there, aluminium okay there are different uh, different seven different uh, aluminium uh, combinations in this player and and this for example is uh, anti corrodial aluminium it's the hardest one and uh, so I just the lab just the label is what's contacting you, you fix just the label so you don't get any influence from under because, like I told you, if you put leather or felt or whatever, it changes the sound. Oh, everything makes a difference. Yeah, everything exactly. changes the sound. And, and in, in this case, nothing. You really. Well, you can't change the sound. Yeah, you, you can't can. change, for example, if you put the, the wood, which is a little bit different, that's a new part, so all audio feels uh, like to play. So Can you just pop it out and pop it in? Yeah, it's, it's Oh, e that's interesting. That's, that's easy. You just put it here and you put this on. You could make it out of Mapingo wood. <laughs> you could make it out of Panzerholz. So you then could, again, it sounds different. Of course, everything. That's the yeah. thing about analog. It, you, you know, it's. Then you put this one. Or we can. Uh, we can. Once you buy a CD player, you're stuck with that sound. Yeah, you're not that's you know. it. Yeah. We can take the record again. You can change the power cord. <laughs> and that will make a difference. People don't believe that till they try it. Then they understand. And what's fun? I don't. This is our company. Oh, I would be happy to give you this brochure, the old fashioned brochure. Yeah, and it's Bluetooth also? Everything. <laughs> it's everything. Uh, okay, I, I should have done this, but anyway, it's. Uh... Oh, sorry. Oh. That's okay. Sorry. I'll edit that part out. No. So now it's going to sound different, but I wasn't paying attention to the sound. Yeah, it's not too much difference, but in a good room you can hear the difference. Sure. Okay, have you got any pa paperwork on this? Uh, paperwork not, but no. you find everything on my website. Unfortunately, I'm, uh, there's also an Italian website, me, I'm the German uh, distributor. Okay. But, uh, you know, with Google Translate <laughs> today, it's easy even to translate the German. And, you're this and on my website is more information than on the Italian. From now, uh, warped records create an issue too because with, with a platter you can flatten it out. You mm. can't flatten it out. So that's another issue. So there are, like everything else, there are advantages and disadvantages. And then someone will make an adapter that flattens the record out. And <laughs> Interesting. Can you see? The it's, it's like this, this, this is not completely flat, but right. it doesn't matter anything. No, it'll track fine, uh, you get, you get warped. It just well, follows. Yeah. We tried with a very, very um, <laughs> strange so, LP, which, which was damaged, and really goes like this, yeah. and it follows. And then we put this on a Riga RP6, and been. it jumps two times. Right. I, get, I get that too, yeah. yeah. But you can hear it, you can hear it. But listen, if you want perfect, get a CD player. They're perfect. <laughs> so, uh, so now tell me about this. Well, this is the uh, biggest preamp of the Vienna loudspeaker manufacturer. And it's, um, What's the brand? Wiener Lautsprecher Manufaktur. Okay, Wiener Lautsprecher. WLM. Okay, wait there. Better they see it than hear you say it. Yeah. <laughs> you believe me. And so, so you, you can adjust the. This is for the, the, the RAAA, or you, you can do whatever curve you want? Yeah, you have uh, different uh, curves. Um, you can adjust it to old records, newer records. You can adjust bass, of course. And, and you can uh, adjust uh, the, the face in, uh, in the tweeter. So you have, like in, the, in an old preamp of the 70s, the you can phase play around yeah. a bit. And, but you have, uh, tribute to modern times, you also have Bluetooth module. Uh, built in if you decide to go for a uh, digital um, source. So this is a preamplifier with a built-in phono preamp that's yes. very versatile. Yeah. Okay, well, how much does this cost? Um, uh, depending on, on the features from 5,000 to 10,000. Okay. 10,000 to make sound, 5,000 to just look at it? <laughs> You get uh, everything uh, you can expect from a very good preamp for 5000 If you want to have a nice phono stage and you want to have uh, the surface where you can look into it, you have to pay extra right. money. Of course. But you can have it in, in every kind of wood you like. Right. For example, you can have it matching to this 
Is it, pull, uh, is it ba balanced? Balanced? Is it fully balanced? balanced? Fully balanced. That's it. Mill grade specification of yeah. all components. You can uh, plug it in and plug it out. Uh, switch it on, switch it off uh, a million times. It will always have the same. So here's the, re the read a 3C turntable that I reviewed and it's like one of these things out of sight out of mind this is a this is a fantastic turntable especially for the money it's stupidly good for the money and this is the the read um, I think it's their their linear tracking yeah it's a pivoted linear tracking arm with a with a laser and that's the DS audio master Phono pre.